Hey guys, so today I'm going to be installing one of these for um, my alternator because uh, the stock alternator, when you upgrade to a Quest battery, um, the tensioner doesn't tighten the belt all the way. So this is going to help. So this will be able to spin it and you can extend this and it'll be much easier and it's just a simple bracket. Okay, so I got the bracket installed. There's the one right there that attaches to the alternator. And then on the block, there's that one right next to the uh, to the water pump. That's the other one it uses the stock location. Um, you can use the stock bolts, which is this one. This is the one that goes under, but you need to take these, uh, like the washers off that it has because uh, it's a little too short um, because of the hind joint, just how thick it is. It's too short. I just ended up using the stock um, alternator belt. It's kind, it kind of, I mean, it works, but it, you need to uh, use a pry bar on the uh, alternator just to give it a little room to uh, sneak in that, uh, to thread in that bolt that I'll attach onto the alternator. Yeah, people were saying to use uh, this this uh, belt when you upgrade to a Quest alternator, but for me it didn't work out. It's just, uh, even with this uh, eye bolt bracket, uh, it, it was just too long, so I guess, I mean, I, I just use the stock one and it works fine. The belt doesn't squeal and it's really tight. So um, I would just stick with the OEM belt, I guess. So yeah, thanks for watching.